Britannia Films Distribution proudly presents 1884. Made in 1840, more than 40 years before film was invented, 1884 tells the story of a future that might have been, but never was. Our hero is Captain Horatio Kitchen Game, top secret agent. In this, the year of our Lord, 1884, I, Horatio Kitchen Game, in the name of Her Majesty Queen Victoria, claim the moon as a province of the British Empire. With typical British reserve, Londoners celebrate the latest addition to the Empire, unaware that their very existence is under threat. On secretly returning to London, Kitchen Game learns that his next mission is to be far more dangerous than going to the moon. He is to be sent to a much more perilous place. It is my intention that he should be sent to Europe immediately to ascertain what is going on over there and find out what is happening in that dark, mysterious place. My God, they don't even speak English. Here, use this. It's a phrase book. Very well. I'll do my best. And so, using the very latest techniques that steam-driven film can offer, puppets without strings, two-dimensional and three-dimensional computer-generated imagery and sticky-backed plastic, in sepia, muted colour and full colour, we explore the murky world of Victorian foreign policy. Kitchen Game travels to Portsmouth, where he finds at his disposal the very latest state-of-the-art machines of war. Captain Kitchen Game in Torpedo Tube 1. Bye, Torpedo Tube 1. Bye, Torpedo Tube 1. It is Kitchen Game's mission to discover what is happening on the continent and why the French are being overrun by an unknown Eastern European power. A master of espionage, Kitchen Game is fully schooled in the most subtle of combat skills. The love interest comes in the very shapely form of Yvette O'Neill, a French secret agent. In fact, she's a double agent. To be honest, she's a triple agent. You must come with me. The villain of this piece is the evil Lord Ravenoff Fafner, who is intent on building an empire of his own. And England is very firmly in his sights. What is wrong with you men? How hard can it be to destroy a continent? It's at a time like this that the true British hero knows instinctively what he must do. Inwardly panic. Fortunately, help is on the way in the somewhat less shapely form of General Buzz Adenoid Beanburger III. In a blaze of glory and a sea of GIs, the special relationship is born. So, put your tongue firmly in your cheek, stiffen your upper lip, and prepare to be shaken and stirred by 1884. 